There are a ton of ways to start learning calculus. You can buy a book and start working through it. You can buy a workbook and start working through it. Workbooks are usually less expensive and they have less topics, but they're easier. You can buy a course and watch videos, etc. In this video, I want to give you one way to start that I think is good because you're starting with a book that has undergone a ton of revisions. This is a book that has withstood the test of time. Not only that, this is a book that you're probably not using in your calculus class. Most classes, at least in the US, most college level classes use books like the one by Stewart, which is a great book, or the one by Larson, which I've used to actually teach college classes, Calc 1, Calc 2, and Calc 3, using the Larson book. But this is a book that was recommended to me a long time ago, it's been a while, it's been a few years now, from subscribers here on the channel, in particular people from India, uh, they mentioned that this was a book that they used. And so I went online, I did some research, and I found it, and I ended up getting various copies of this book. I actually have like three different versions. So this book is awesome, and it is the one by Thomas. It's called actually Thomas Calculus. So the author's name is in the title, right? So it's Thomas Calculus. It's the 13th edition, and it's written by Weir and Haas, so basically revised by these people. Let me show you what I mean by that. So it's based on the work by George B. Thomas, MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, as revised by, and these people here revised it with the assistance of Christopher Heal. So it's a book that's withstood the test of time. There are major differences in newer versions of this book compared to older versions. In particular, a lot of the used versions, a lot of the older copies, have answers to all of the exercises, whereas this one has answers to only the odd-numbered exercises. So this book has everything, okay? It has everything you need for Calculus 1, Calculus 2, and Calculus 3 in a college setting in the US. It basically has everything that all of the other big, thick calculus books have. It has everything the Stewart book has, everything the Larson book has, etc. What makes it special, I guess, is that it's based on the work by George B. Thomas. It's an older book, um, it's, which was published a long time ago, and it somehow withstood the test of time, which is really cool. It has really good exercises, really good explanations, and the explanations, in some sense, they've been improved, at least that's the intent. Um, the differences I've noticed between this book and, and the original ones are that sometimes certain problems uh, or topics were left out, and this one has additions to it that weren't in the old book. So there are distinct differences, and honestly, I think both books are good. I'm not going to say that the new one is worse, um, and I'm not going to say it's a, a lot better. I'm just going to say it's different, and it's good, and it's worth having newer editions and older. So I'll, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check out this book if you want to. But look at all these examples. So this is uh, 2.6, limits involving infinity. And so they start by giving you the actual rigorous definition, right? So they, they're, they're not just watering it down or anything with the updates. It's still a calculus book, right? This is a real calculus book. You're getting real mathematics here. Then they have some examples. And you can see these examples are proofs with the definition. So it's not like the newer editions, you know, water down the material or anything. No, no, no. Uh, the rigor is maintained uh, in many places. And then you see more examples here. Really nice example here. Look at this one. It's got an absolute value. That's, that's pretty cool. So there's a lot of things, and it's little stuff like this throughout the book that I think make this book special. You get examples that you don't see in other books. And that's why I want to recommend this one, because you're probably using one of those other ones by Stewart or by Larson. So this one's going to give you uh, a different perspective on the subject and different exercises, too. This one has answers to all of the odd-numbered problems in the back of the book. Look at all of these examples. Oh, I love how they call it. Look at that. Using the sandwich theorem. So it's also called the squeeze theorem or the pinching theorem. I don't like that name. I don't like pinching. That doesn't sound comfortable. Oblique asymptotes, which are also called slant asymptotes. You're asked to find one there. Pretty cool. Uh, a rational function will have an oblique asymptote when when the degree is exactly one higher. So see how the degree in the numerator is 2, 
and the degree is one. The degree is the biggest exponent. So here's two and here's one. So whenever that happens, you can use long division and find the oblique asymptote. And you can see here, it even explains it. As x approaches plus or minus infinity, the remainder, whose magnitude gives the vertical distance between the graphs of f and g, goes to zero, making the slanted line, boom, the oblique asymptote or the slant asymptote. So it explains really well. It's a really good calculus book. Is it perfect? No. Um, but I think you can find copies really inexpensively, especially used copies, uh, which I think make it worth it. And does it matter which edition you get? I, I don't think so. I just, I, I, my, my advice would be get a copy that is inexpensive, you know. Um, you'll probably find less typos in newer editions and less mistakes. Um, I think I might have found a mistake in one of the older editions I have. It's like a really old one where the pages are yellowing. I haven't seen any errors uh, in this particular edition. This one's the 13th. And again, I'll leave a link or two in the description to various used copies. And I would just recommend getting, getting a used copy, right? A used copy or a new one if you want of this great book. And how do you use this book? Well, so you have a calculus book and you want to learn calculus. So my advice was, would be to try to do, you know, a little bit every day, right? At least one problem a day. If you're already learning calculus, um, you can easily, easily, easily find what you're learning in the book by looking in the contents. Let me just show you the contents really quick. I forgot to show you. So functions, it's, it's the basic stuff, right? It's all the stuff that you would typically see in a calculus class. So it's all the same topics. The order is very similar. I mean, look, application, it's just, you know, boilerplate as they say. Right? Everything you would see in a calc course. And it's, it's even got the differential equations in there. The, the, you know, the standard techniques, all the standard techniques for integration. So everything you would see, although it does have a section on probability, which a lot of books do have, but that's typically not something that's covered. It's not something you'll learn if you take a college level course typically. Your teacher will not spend time on that. Not because they don't want to or they don't like it, uh, which could be true, but it's because of time constraints. Typically, you know, when you're a teacher, um, you have to teach certain topics. So your goal is to um, cover those topics. Yeah, integrals and vector fields. This is Calc 3 stuff. And then second order DE is typically not covered. I personally have never taught this, and I've taught Calc 1, 2, and 3 multiple times at colleges. Answers to odd numbered exercises. Yeah, this is taught typically in differential equations. Yeah, it's a great book. It's a great book. It really, really is. I'm, I'm just going to have to give it a whiff here because I love this book. This is really good. I want to thank the subscribers too who. Uh, who, who mentioned this book, um, you know, they, they kept mentioning it because I made a video on the Stewart book and then people were like, oh, what about Thomas Calculus? I'm like, Thomas Calculus, what's that? And so it's been a while and I bought it and uh, yeah, I like it. I like it's a great book. It's thick. Look at all these exercises too. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous how many problems you get here, right? I mean, so many examples, so many exercises. So, wow, right? Tons of problems. Super awesome. Really, really good stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. Anyways, great book. I recommend it. Also, if you want to learn math through a course, which is another way to learn calculus, um, I do have courses on my website, uh, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, so it's you know a reputable place and they have a good platform. But if you decide to get my courses, please go through my website or the links in the description, uh, mathsorcerer.com as it helps me greatly, and I've lowered the prices uh, to make them as low as Udemy let me make them, so I set them to the bare minimum. So if you use my links, you'll help me, and you should get a low price. And if you found any value in this content and you want to subscribe, uh, subscribe if you want to. Uh, if not, that's okay too. Oh look, moments. Ooh, got distracted. Calc 2 stuff. This is Calc 2 stuff. This is, it's, it's a little bit hard because there's formulas and stuff. It's, it's a lot of memorization. Um, Sometimes it's covered, sometimes it's not. Like fluid forces and centroids, uh, yeah, it's, it's hard to find the time to cover that stuff. I, I've taught it and I haven't taught it. It's one of those, if you take Calc 2, you might see this. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. It's good stuff. I guess you can self-study it too. Ah, and I was saying, also I do have uh, another YouTube channel on fitness. I believe in training uh, your mind and your body every day, so I already have the math source, so I thought, you know what? I work out every single day. Every day I do something, so uh, check me out on The Fitness Sorcerer where I post fitness content. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.